Let's make some chiles estudiados. And if you don't have an oven, all you need is a cast iron. You're just gonna drizzle a little bit of oil all around it, and you're gonna slowly char for eight minutes. Y ya cuando empiecen a llorar, entonces los vamos a cambiar. We turn them around. So every two minutes, you're just gonna be moving it around so they won't burn. Now let's turn off and we're gonna cool down. Remember, you don't wanna overchar them because you don't want them to be too mushy. Now let's make the salsa negra. You're gonna need soy sauce, salsa magi, unas gotitas de salsa chapala, onion powder, toasted sesame seeds, and you're gonna be using half a lemon and we mix. Let's make a slit and we're gonna remove all the seeds. Now let's stuff them with cheese. Put them back to the skillet. And to give it a sazon, we're gonna be using my favorite seasoning. Now turn on the heat, we're gonna cover so the cheese could melt. Cebollitas verdes. We're gonna cut some purple onion. All right, the cheese is melted. Now let it rest and cool down for a little bit. Beautiful! Now let's drench them with the salsa negra. Drizzle with sesame seed oil. Now let's decorate the green onions. Más limoncito a la cebolla. And more of my seasoning. ¡Y listo! And enjoy. Oh my God. This is so good. Let's make chile relleno. And this is the fastest way I char the chiles. Flip. Remember not to overcook them. Now we're gonna put them in a bag so they can sweat. Cut Monterey cheese like this. The reason that you want to steam them is so this can peel off really fast and you're not there hours and hours. And also, if you overcook it, then you're not going to be able to have a nice firm chili pod. Put it on the side and we're going to make a slit right on the corner. Now with this spoon, we're going to carefully remove all the seeds just like this. Separate the egg yolks from the whites and let's whisk. Let it whisk for seven minutes. And remember, no yolk in the egg whites. All right, this is ready. Remember, it has to have some beautiful peaks, just like that. Or if you turn it upside down, it's ready. Add the egg yolks. Now we're gonna give it another whisk. Stuff the peppers with cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle some of my favorite seasoning, coat in flour, hold from the opening, and we're gonna dip it just like this. Now add to the oil. Now you're gonna get by the tail, you're gonna flip. Beautiful! Another minute and we drain. Salsa de tomatillo, crema, y listo! And enjoy. Mm. Oh my God. This is so good! Let's make pulpos! Oh my God, they look like aliens! Boil water with bay leaf, a head of garlic, half an onion, tomato, and sea salt. Cover and let the water boil. All right, this is very important. When you're cooking with octopus, you have to let the water boil and come closer. All right, this is a must. You have to dip in the tentacles three times, just like this. And once it's curled, the tentacles are curled, now we have to let it cook for a whole hour. Once it's boiling, we're gonna add the shrimp. And only cook it for three minutes because as you can see, it's already cooking in front of us. All right, this is ready. Now let's remove. And remember to cook the shrimp with the cascara because that's what's gonna give it the flavor. This is ready. After they cool down, let's peel. And this is the fastest way. Cut the shrimp. And don't come at me that because my shrimp is already cooked is not ceviche. You can make ceviche with anything you want. Once you let it rest, we're gonna cut the tentacles. Now let's add everything to the bowl. Add the shrimp, limon, cucumber, tomato and onion, cilantro, flamato, salsa negra, compamere, oregano, masal, and you mix. Now let's serve with my favorite tostada. Avocado mayo spread. Serrano. Now we spread. Más limón. And more serrano. Y listo. And enjoy. Oh my God, this is so good. Let's make tacos de pescado estilo Baja California. We're going to cut the tilapia filet in three. Just like this. And transfer them to a bowl. Add mustard. The mustard is going to serve as an agent so the spices can stick to the fish. Salt black pepper. All right, give it a quick mix and we're gonna let it marinate until we prepare the batter. Two cups of flour. We're gonna season with black pepper, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, and my chicken bouillon. And it's coming real soon. Mix it really well. Mineral water, beautiful. And you mix again. And you're gonna continue adding until you have a runny batter. And if you don't wanna work any harder, use my mesa meal whisker. 
This is how you test the oil. If the wooden spoon sizzles, it's ready. Put the fish in the batter and on to the fryer. Three minutes and you flip. Three minutes and you drain. To the Mexican coleslaw, we're gonna add some onion and tomato. Cilantro and add to the bowl. Limon, salt, and we mix. Now let's make the aguacate chile. Cinco serranos. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fire. Chicken bouillon and cilantro stems. And you blend. Dip the tortilla in the oil. Calentar. Now let's build the taco. Mayo and put all over the tortilla. Now let's build the taco. Add the Mexican coleslaw. Aguacate chile. Más limón. Y listo. And enjoy. Oh my God, this is so good. Vamos a hacer una virea de mojarra. Uy, se ven los dientes. Me gusta que saben las alitas. También la colita. También le vamos a cortar el copetito con las tijeras. Y ya hay que quitarle todas las escamas. Y aquí ya mi papá nos está ayudando. tres pedazos. Vamos a echarle sal de ajo. Ahora las vamos a freír. Y tiene que quedar así de doradito. Vamos a cocer los nopales. Tiene cilantro stem y sal. And cook for 15 minutes. Now let's make the birria. Chile ancho. Ahora vamos a moler los chiles con hoja de laurel, ginger molido, pimienta entera, ajonjolí, clavos de olor, garlic. Agre, ¿cuánto le echo más? Tú échale, mi <laughs> Orégano y consomé de pollo. Le ponemos el agua del chile y a moler. Ahora le vamos a echar el chilito de la birria. Add some water. Más orégano. Cilantro. Smells so good already. Sirve con arroz rojo. Y limoncito. Y listo. En New York. Y listo. En New York. En New York. <laughs> Una. Tres. En New York. 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 Let's make a pirotada estilo Michoacán. So the first thing that you want to do is cut your bolillo in small pieces. And this is how my mom cuts it, just like this. All right, so we are almost done. But before I start cutting the rest of the bolillo, let's put the little syrup to cook. Because you need like 30 minutes or so till you get that nice syrup. Es la mielecita que mi mamá hace. You're gonna boil in four cups of water, half of a tomato, quarter of a white onion, one cup of raisins, half of a cinnamon stick, three whole peppers, and four whole cloves. Now let's melt the manteca. And this is pork lard. This is how the authentic Mexican capirotada is made. Melt the manteca. Let's put the bolillo to fry. We're roughly gonna let it fry for a minute or two. Two minutes, then you flip, because you wanna make sure that you have that golden brown. Fry the bolillos two minutes each side and drain. All right, the syrup has been already boiling for 30 minutes. We're gonna turn it off. All right, let's make a bed of tortillas first before we add the bread. Now let's dip the bread into the honey or syrup. We call it mielecita, and we're just gonna layer it on the pot. Sprinkle the remaining of the raisins on top and all the syrup. Queso fresco on top. Let's cover and we're gonna let it cook for five minutes. We serve. Y listo! And enjoy. Oh my God, this is so good!